I think art can be almost anything. It's something that evokes an emotion in me. That makes me think, and that's another big aspect of art for me, is this idea of constantly learning and constantly sharing that knowledge with others. Art is so much more. It's like this encompassing way that we view history, how we view ourselves, and then how we view our future, what art we're making now, and how we can push the boundaries and move forward. Art makes me think, makes me engage with it. It usually brings up memories for me. It evokes something in me. Walking into the gallery and seeing a giant hand-carved Maitreya that's 2,000 years old, but just connecting the energy that took to create that to me in present as I was standing in front of it was probably one of the most powerful experiences that I've had. The advice I would give to a new collector is to buy what you love. The art market is flexible, things go up and down, there's trends over decades of time, but if you have something that you love and it's hanging on your wall and it brings you joy, then you can't go wrong. The pieces travel through time and art lives forever. The pieces that we had that were 2,000 years old, the pieces that we have that were made yesterday, they go from hand to hand throughout history and I feel like we get to cherish them for a brief amount of time before they go on to the next person. There are few things in the world that are valued as highly as the creative force of art. What a person would be willing to pay for that piece of art just speaks to how important it is to our shared history and culture as humans. Art is as old as mankind, and it's used as a way to tell our stories and hopefully inform future people about our histories and what are the things that we value most. It's why we have that innately within us. It's, it's part of our spirit because it does nothing for us except feed our soul. <laughs>